see you right through that psycho. I'm glad you're here. I'm just grateful to have the opportunity to even speak with you. Why? Tell you how sorry I am. I don't want to do it anymore. You don't want to do what? To hurt people. The way I hurt you. What is Chloe talking about? What do you have to do with what she's been through? You know what? I'll give you the short version. When Teresa gave us a sob story about how she escaped from that lunatic El Fideo, she left out a little bitty detail. She left Chloe there and decided not to tell us. No, no, that's not true. That's ridiculous. It is true. No, no, Ter Teresa, just tell me what happened, please. Brady, but just... Let's just... Let's talk privately. Okay, I can explain everything. Um, no. No, you, you are going to explain everything, Teresa, but you're not going to do it privately. You're going to do it right here and right now. Because I think that's the only way that we're going to find the truth, isn't it? So what now you're moving out? I'm just gonna spend the night at my mom's. See her wait. Well, then I really have to go. Please, please. I, he, I can't just let you walk out the door without talking to you. I did. No, like really talk to me. Please, like whatever this is that's bugging you, you can tell me. We can we can deal with this together, okay? I I want to be with you. We can't always get what we want. What are you doing here? It's all the way to bring me home. Well, aren't you supposed to be with you? Yeah, I was. Dumps me. Okay. Look, I wanted to take you with us. Of course I did, but Xander insisted that if, if we tried to take you, then Mateo would change his mind about letting me go and he'd kill me. And then God, all I could think about was coming home to Brady and Tate and I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Chloe. Yeah, I got your note. Dear Chloe, I'm sorry, your friend, Teresa. Oh, God. Mateo told me you were dead, and I cried over you. I felt terrible. I... Not terrible enough to tell anyone. Tell Brady, tell Lucas, you let me be a prisoner? How could you say nothing? But Mateo threatened me. Okay, he said if I told anyone where you were, if I sent anyone after you, then he would kill me and Brady and Kate. So, I'm sorry. Oh my God, was it you? You're the one who told Mateo that John and Paul were coming to rescue me? The whole formula is just, I mean, it's symbols on a page. Yeah, maybe they should stay that way. Where's this coming from? Okay, Rolf's drug may have been a miracle. I brought you back to life. But this new drug, if it's even viable, I mean, there's no guarantee that it'll, it'll bring back your memory. And the downside is, I mean, it, it could kill you. I, I just, I don't like the odds. You know what I love about you? You take the odds and you knock them out of the park. Well, not when it comes to your life.